Hi, welcome back to our channel. So this morning I was thinking, I don't have blueberries and we usually put blueberries in our oats every morning. So what am I gonna make? Hmm, well we've got raspberries and they don't really turn out great because sometimes they've got little seeds in them. So I'm making a compote is like a really great way to eat them or throwing them in a smoothie. So today I decided I'm gonna make some oat pancakes and I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video um, so that you can see more of what we've got going on. Um, this is going to be a whole food plant-based, uh, vegan, oil-free, sugar-free, um, banana oat, chocolatey, vanillary pancake concoction that I am literally throwing together and measuring as we go. Um, so I will measure and then look back at the video to let you know exactly what I put in here so that you can create this at home. I'm going to be cooking on a cast iron pan, which is actually not a good idea. Uh, it's better to go for a non-stick. And I'm going to link a description and in in, um, link, link something below uh, from Dr. Gregor from nutritionfacts.org, which explains why we shouldn't use um, cast iron pans and why some uh, non-stick pans are a, a bad idea with the aluminium, I think. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I do know that there's a better cookware around. Um, so I'm going to link a description in below. Once we can afford one, we'll get one. But for now, I'm just going to make do. We don't use this that often. Um, yeah, but oil free, the first one might stick a little, uh, but let's see how it goes. To start, we're going to make a flax egg. Um, so I'm going to use whole flax seed and I'm going to grind it myself in my handy little spice grinder or coffee grinder. And I'm going to put uh, a one to three ratio for flax egg. Um, I think usually other people say use a, a sort of a tablespoon a one tablespoon to three tablespoons i think um, with water once it's ground um, to make a, an egg substitute so vegans have lots of different ways of doing egg substitutes you don't need to be cooking with egg this is a great way it's got omega threes in it um, so i'm going to grind this up and uh, i'm going to soak this but i'm going to use more than uh, just one sort of egg because we eat a lot of flaxseed in this house so I'm going to do, I think, let's do three. I'm going to do three tablespoons of flax. Put that into my grinder. Be prepared. Oh. <laughs> there we have it. Ground flax. I'm going to throw that into there. You'll get used to me being clumsy. Let's get that out. Right. From there, I'm going to add some water. I'm not going to really worry about measuring this. So I'm just going to kind of cover, cover that. Please hold. Right, so I'm just gonna mix that together. And you'll see after a while, it'll become sort of jellish. It'll give you a sort of a jelly, you know, like an egg would be all gross and gloopy. Well, this is not gonna be so gross, but it is gonna be gloopy. And that's gonna help to bind all the, the other goodies. So I've got some oats, I've got some rolled oats. This I got from Diskim. Um, I got it in a, a nice big tub we eat so much of this stuff so five kilos it's really well worth it um price wise so far that's the best if you've got a great place to get wholesale uh rolled oats or even better steel cut oats let me know in the description below and i'll check it out uh what i want to do is i want to make an oat flour so i'm going to throw some of this in my grinder just to make it uh smaller before putting it in the blender i'm not sure how this blender is going to handle my oat mixture so I'm going to throw some of this in the grinder first and then I'm going to pop it all into there. This is two cups of oats. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's throw some in here. I like to make my own oat flour because you can make it as fine as you like or less fine if you prefer it a little bit more intact. So I'm going to throw that straight into my blender. 
think I'm going to do a little bit more. I like putting whole oats and uh, whole rolled oats in as well. So I'm not going to grind all of it. I think it's probably about half. Half of it I'm actually just going to put in whole. I like to have more intact oats in my pancakes. So I'm going to throw some baking powder in there. Probably about a teaspoon's worth. Then I'm going to put in, let's be nice and generous, let's put a whole tablespoon. We're going to put a tablespoon, a little bit more than a tablespoon um, of cocoa. And we're going to see how chocolatey that is. My family like, um, like it quite chocolatey, so I might put a bit more in. I've got some vanilla essence. If I can open it. Mm, I've got no strength. <clears throat> Camera lady, would you? Uh, so we'll just wait on her to open. <laughs> oh, coffee. Mmm. Oh, I'm the Hulk. She's the Hulk. So I'm just going to use the cap and I'm just going to put two capsules in um, of vanilla essence. Okay, into my blender, I'm now going to stick a few bananas. I'll pick these two, look good. Start off with a cup of soy milk. Uh, this we're trying out. We usually buy oat milk from Diskim because it's usually a decent price, and oat milk is a favorite of my kids. But I bought the soy milk from Spa because um, it was a reasonable price, and so we're trying it out today. Then I've got my flax egg, which is kind of getting gloopy now. I'm not going to worry too much about it getting more gloopy than that. Uh, it'll thicken up. Um, inside the mixture and let's put some of that peanut butter in there's not very much peanut butter no there isn't much peanut butter but I'm going to scrape some out so I'm just going to use this to scrape it out because it's easiest to get in to the bottom um, <laughs> what do you reckon that's a tablespoon and a half maybe Probably about a tablespoon and a half worth of, of peanut butter. You can leave this out if you're um, trying to eat less fatty foods, but I'm not just feeding me, I'm family, feeding a family and I've got a uh, relatively skinny husband and son, so I can't always think about weight loss. So we're also trying to make good tasty food. Um, and if you're transitioning to a vegan diet, um, it's okay to um, sort of not worry too much about um, fat contents and things initially. As long as you're staying away from um, from oils, um, including coconut oil, staying away from that saturated fat, uh, then you should be on the right track. Stick to whole foods as much as possible, but if you're transitioning, don't give yourself too much of a hard time. Just get the animal products out of your diet. So, I'm going to wash my hands because I'm full of peanut butter, and then we're going to attempt to blend this up. I might have to add some more liquid, but let's see how it goes. The great thing about this dish is that you can add really anything that you want. I have made pancakes without using any plant milks at all. I've just used water because that's what I had. Um, I have used different nut butters. I've left them out. I've left the cocoa out. I've, I've, um, I've really just done a variety of different things and it's really fun to play around in your kitchen really what you're looking for is a consistency that you're able to kind of pour into the pan and able to get a crumpet uh, sort of pancake thing going um, it's not going to be a traditional crepe like the french you're going to get more of a sort of a south african crumpet sort of feel um, but really really delicious really tasty and topping it with fruit um, whether it's sliced bananas whether it's um, a compote or whether it's blueberries uh, whatever it is that you want to put on top you can make oh uh, even when we weren't worried about saturated fats um we were using coconut milk and i'd use, and i'd melt dark chocolate in coconut milk and pour that over pancakes oh delicious with some fruit um what a treat but uh, we're staying away from saturated fats um so we're not going to do that we're going to do the compost let's see how this works out let's start off with Let's just... 
I'll stop here and say you probably should put some liquid at the bottom. It'll probably help things to mm. get going. So I've probably made that error. So I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to give it a stir to get some liquids to the bottom so that it'll mix. I've even done this um, without a blender and just mixed it up and, and really left very whole oats uh, intact and it works great. Um, don't usually use a blender, so this is a new, new method for me. See how it goes. That seems to have gone quite well. Look at that. Lovely. Let's have a look here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's try that out. Also, I've had instances where it's been too liquid, so I've had to add some oats, and I've had times where there's not been enough liquid, so I've added more. Um, so let's get going. I think while we wait, let's get some raspberries in a pan. So I got these from the wood, so it's a great way to use up frozen fruit that's been in the freezer for a while. Obviously, defrosted a little bit here and there. It's a bit strange, but it'll make a great, it'll make a great compote. So, I'm just going to really just heat this up, get it going. Um, I don't add any sugar or anything. Um, for those of you who are not so stressed about sugar, feel free to do what you feel is right. Um, we try and stay away from any added sugars. Um, we try to get our sugar from our fruit. Uh, we do not stay away from fruit. Fruit is good for you um, for so many reasons. Um, yeah, but let's see how this goes. We're just going to let that defrost and make a groupy mess. I might add a little bit of water just to get it going. And then we'll let it reduce to a beautiful red gooey syrup. Let's move over to our pan. This is heated up now. I'm just going to turn it down because we don't want to burn anything. So I'm going to use my half scoop measure and just scoop some out and let's see how this goes I'm going to make two at a time that's kind of what I can put on here and let's just see if this works out there we go it's looking a bit brown oh how's those skills Here we go, perfection. Look at that, oil-free cooking at its best. Ooh, look at that, that's puffed up quite nicely because you've added that baking powder in. The baking powder will just make them a little bit extra fluffy. Ooh. Actually, what you can add as well, which is a great way of getting things to rise, is with your baking powder, you can put a bit of baking soda in. Um, and then add a bit of apple cider vinegar. So just like when you're cleaning your house and you use vinegar and um, bicarb together, it frothes, foams. Um, what it'll do is it'll make it light and fluffy. So if you're baking bread, if you're baking this, um, you can add a bit of vinegar with bicarb and it just helps with that fluffiness as well. So if you really like fluffy things, I suggest you add a bit of that as well. But for now, this is doing absolutely great let's turn it over fantastic fantastic take those off and put the next ones on as you can see the mix is starting to thicken up already and that's the flaxseed that's helping it to thicken and the oats actually the oats is also it's absorbing the liquid so it's also thickening up quite a bit um, you can as you grow if you're finding it needs a bit more liquid you can always add in a bit of water or a bit of uh, a bit more plant milk um, but that's definitely looking good and so our berry compote or sauce uh, has really turned out quite lovely it's probably going to be a bit tart um, but the bananas are going to make quite uh, nice and nice and sweet to eat uh, knowing my family, they're probably going to add some golden syrup on top. Um, and to my disappointment, I figured out the the soy milk is actually sweetened, so it's got sugar in it. Uh, my kids had a giggle. Um, I don't like buying things that are sweetened, but uh, 
anyway we'll let that one we'll let that one go so we'll pour a bit of that over the top make sure that everybody gets some oh this color is beautiful smells really good smells really good And uh, as I expected, um, the batter did thicken up a little at the end uh, with the oats and the flaxseed. So I did add a, a splash more soy milk just to loosen it up. So I poured better into the pan. Um, and the quantity of oats I used worked out perfect too because everybody's ended up with sort of two pancakes. Um, let's put some banana on. And as usual, I'm going to sprinkle a bit of seeds on our breakfast. Little sprinkle of seeds. These are sunflower seeds. You can add whatever seeds you like. If you want to put a bit of chopped nuts on top, I'm sure that would be delicious too. I'll preempt my family and put some golden syrup on the table for them. I won't have on mine. Uh, the banana inside should make it sweet enough for me. Uh, I don't have a particular sweet tooth, uh, but there you have it. Banana, oat, pancakes mm, let's eat Good. which one's mine mm, food one of those is yours mm. <laughs>